Hey guys, how you going? Welcome back to Silent Hill 3 and it has been a hot minute. <laughs> like, I feel so bad. I looked at when I last played this game and I swear to God, like, it's like I blink my eyes and I'm like, oh, that's two weeks. Gone. Uh, life has been crazy. Life's been very busy. And it sucks because I think about this all the time. I'm like, I just want to play Silent Hill, want to play my video games, I want to get it out there and keep keep the community going, the little tiny one that I have going on here at the moment. So I apologize for the wait because I'm also being hard on myself to get it out as well while I'm also trying to take the time to chill out. <laughs> Who knows? Hopefully one day I can post videos every single day and all I'd be doing is playing video games. That would be really nice. <laughs> um, but, you know, until the day where I get to stream and record to my heart's content, um, the releases will be sporadic. But I appreciate the patience because we're back with Silent Hill and I'm very excited to keep playing. We finished the hospital section and I'm pretty sure we have to go back to the hospital. No, sorry. We have to go back to the hotel um, to go check on Douglas, right? I'm pretty sure that's where we're at. So we're going to get into that one now, guys. Let's go. All right, let's leave and go back to the hotel, finally. Yeah. Why did you send her to my father? Was that wrong? It's your fault that he... Oh, but surely it's a good thing. It means he was one of God's beloved, no? Those who mock God will never receive salvation. You'll go to hell, Vincent. You'll never feel the joy of God's everlasting paradise. And you think God is going to save you? Ha! Huh. What do you know anyway? I know about the pleasures of this world. And I want to find my happiness while I'm still here. You hated your father, didn't you? I saw the way he hit you. He kicked you. He made you cry. The memory of his cruelty is forever burned into my mind. Yes, yes, and that's why we need God. What you call faith is nothing more than a child crying out for love. That's why you're all alone. None of you do. Mmm, interesting, okay. Claudia and Vincent hanging out together. But they're not exactly on the same side. Alright, let's take a look at where we're at. Um, let's go back to 106. Um, also, hang on. I believe I was... I was told that we can actually go into Heaven's Night, I think. Um, that was a comment on an earlier video. I want to see if we can go there or whether I missed my opportunity already. So um, let's run down this way before we go back to the hotel and we'll check and see if we can actually go to... Um, We'll try and run past everybody. <gasps> oh, God. Oh, hang on. Is this the entrance? Ah, cool. All right, let's go in here because I wanted to see. I want to see if there's any reason to go in here. It's a tourism pamphlet. I had forgotten it, but it's true. Silent Hill was originally a resort town. Welcome to Silent Hill. Silent Hill, a quiet little lakeside resort town. We're happy to have you. Take some time out of your busy schedules and enjoy a nice restful vacation here. Row after row of quaint old houses, 
a gorgeous mountain landscape, and a lake which shows different sides of its beauty with the passing of the day, from sunrise to late afternoons to sunset. Silent Hill will move you and fill you with a feeling of deep peace. I hope your time here will be pleasant and your memories will last forever. Editor, Roger Widmark. Well, mate, we will certainly never forget our time here, that's for sure. But is there any reason for me to be here? Uh, I got some supplies, which is nice. Uh, is there anything else around here? It's a fly from a club. It shows a woman with long black hair. The return of Lady Maria from 8 p.m. on the 27th. Woo! I feel like it's just this is a Easter egg. Um, paradise, huh? It's one sleazy paradise, all right, but it's better than the paradise that Claudia is talking about. Well, anyway, this isn't exactly where I want to hang out. Oh, shotgun shells, cool. Right, I feel like that's probably it. Um, it seems more of like just a a reference to Silent Hill 2. I don't think there's anything else. Um, if we if we walk out that main entrance, I guess it'll take us down that alleyway. Let's see if it's even open. No, it's not. So this was actually the only entrance. Interesting. All right, cool. Uh, let's go and we'll avoid the demons outside and try and go straight to... Um, Try and go straight back to the inn. Oh god. Oop. Yep. I feel like I'm running pretty fast. Do I have the... Um, I must not have the vest on. Yeah, I don't have it on right now. Okay. That'll help me run faster back to the inn anyway. We are going the right way. Thank god. go this way. In fact, I just can't see anything whatsoever. I just realized that for the past almost 10 minutes, uh, the game wasn't actually recording the audio, which is uh, disappointing. Um, luckily, I've been talking your heads off, so the actual gameplay shouldn't matter too much because I haven't done anything yet really um, but I'll go back and I'll make sure that the cutscene I'll just put the audio of the cutscene in there so it's not just complete awkward silence um, so if I'll put a note in there so this is future Chris going to fix past Chris mistakes in the video when it comes out <laughs> because I didn't double check when I was about to uh, record, so sorry about that one. It's been a little while, so you forget. I forget the small things uh, from time to time. But it's all fixed now and recording, so we can go back to um, room 106 and um, see what's waiting for us. Will we? Um, will we upstairs? I oh, know this room. Cool. Oh, he's waiting for us. Where's Douglas? He went out. But he left a message for you. Was there someone else here just now? No, no, just me. Don't you want to know what the message is? Yeah, what did he say? The church is on the other side of the lake. Church. What do you meant by that? You don't understand? That's where Claudia is. Across the lake. On the north side. If you're going, you better go through the amusement park. It's probably the only way in now. 
Go northwest on Nathan Avenue. It's a bit far. Mm, but closer than heaven. <laughs> Is that it for the message? Uh huh. Thanks. <laughs> really said that what's wrong you don't trust me no particularly hmm interesting interesting all right well we've got our next location that we have to go to so we're going up Nathan Avenue which will take us all the way up to the amusement park. So in Silent Hill 2, we were able to get the um, get the boat across from coming out of the weird prison place near Rosewater Park, and we went straight across the lake to the hotel. So it seems that we're going to go past that and go to the amusement park. I'm just wondering if there's going to be any weird, crazy sidetrack detours that are going to happen on our way to the amusement park. I wouldn't be surprised if there is. So let's get out of here already because Vincent's given us our next location which is basically go all the way down here. <laughs> so we're going to just run past the dogs. Yep. Because <laughs> I don't want anything to do with them. And I should be able to outrun them because I don't have the bulletproof vest on. I'm wondering if this, we're going to get pulled into the historical society again, but Heather doesn't really have um, Heather doesn't really have as much of a reason to do so. We're just kind of needing to go straight to the amusement park because apparently that's the only way to get to the church. So I think. It looks like we might be at a point where we'll be leaving the Silent Hill 2 area of Silent Hill and going back to the Silent Hill 1 area. Um, yeah, I think we'll be doing the, the area that I've played most recently. But we'll have to wait and see if it throws, throws a wrench in the works at me. Oh, it just skipped. We skipped that whole walk around, thank God. Because <laughs> that looks like it was just going to be huge and probably just nothing but enemies. That's my first assumption. So this is good. And we're in the nightmare version. other world time oh hell. <laughs> oh hell my thoughts exactly Heather what have we got um, we got 26 bullets in the submachine gun only um, I've got not much of anything um, Apparently I missed the stun gun, which was in um, Harry's and my house, unfortunately. But that's what happens when I'm playing it blind. I'm going to miss things. Because I'm not going to be able to explore every minute detail, because I do need to somewhat keep the ball rolling. Okay, so it's... It's exactly the same version as the beginning of the game. It's a giant rabbit costume. Isn't this the mascot from the local amusement park? I don't want to look inside. Something in there smells terrible. Yeah, interesting. It's exactly the same. It's a stuffed animal rabbit. Isn't this the mascot? Yeah, okay. So, same stuff. No, thank you. I don't like anything about this. Oh 
my god, the red eyes are just terrifying. I swear I did that last- I swear I did that last time. Alright, I guess we should push on, and if it's gonna be anything like the, the section that we've just gone through in the beginning of the game, I know it's gonna be in here. Oh god. <gasps> I'm gonna get trapped. I wanna trap myself. Can't go in there. Just making sure I quickly run through and check everything before I get trapped. There's another one! No! Alright, well, let's go into the gift shop. The gift shop wasn't the way to go last time, I don't think. But, um, could be different this time. Just seeing if they've maybe added something in here last time that wasn't here before. Can I can I get this? Let me get this. Yes. All right. Cool. There was. All right. Now that I know that there's something, it makes me just want to check absolutely everything. Oh God. What was that? Was that, did that noise come from in here? Okay, let me pick it. Thank you. Oh, hang on. Was that there before? That was so not there before. This all just fell down. Oh my god. <laughs> That was what that noise was. All right, we are going to we're going to save it in a new save for the first time. I'm surprised that I haven't done this earlier, but I'm going to save it on a new one um, so I can re-record that previous stuff. Look how long it's been since I've played. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> All right. Let's go back. I think. I think that might have been everything. Okay, we actually have to go back out. And I don't have a map, which is great. Um, really nice thing that I like um, as a quality of life improvement from Silent Hill 2 to Silent Hill 3 is if you don't have a map of the area, that's all it says. It doesn't just open up the map of Silent Hill. Because, like, why would it, why? I don't need that. <laughs> so I appreciate, I appreciate that as a, um, as a little update if I accidentally go to open the map. Uh, but it looks like I have to go out and this was just getting some supplies and a save point. So there must be something out here. <gasps> eee! But it's not this thing. Is it here? Yeah! Wait, 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 wait! Stop! Right here, right here, right here, right here! Oh my god. <laughs> oh no, it doesn't end! Oh no! Oh, for God's sake, it's exactly the same as it was before. Let me out of here. Oh my god. Oh no, dude. Alright, give me a second. I can't. Where do I want to go? Alright, he's kind of stuck there at the moment. Is there another one? There is another one. Oh, it's right there. No, I didn't think it was going to get me. Alright, that's... Oh, yeah. Alright, we have to run up this way. How exciting! 
No. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going, keep going. Oh no, what? Alright, hold on a minute, hold on a minute, hold on a minute. Oh. I can't stop the noises. It's locked! Oh my god, alright, I can go through here. I was like, oh my god, I've missed something and I have to go through this terrible nightmare. Oh man, I'm kind of annoyed. I feel like maybe I've missed a key. Maybe I've uh, missed a key that I could have got this whole time. That's a shame. <sighs> Alright, let's go back this way. Oh god. Let's go back this way and not... and try not to fall off the edge. Yeah. God, it's harder than it looks on this thing. Awesome. God, it's the same as before. It's a game over. Huh. That's really bizarre. I'm doing something wrong. Maybe there must be a key that I'm missing to that, um... To that room just before the, um... No, 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 no. <laughs> no, that was not there before. That was, that was closed. Up we go. Up we go. Open this thing. Alright, cool. No roller coaster. Just checking if there's anything else. I think we're good. Alright, um, I've turned the roller coaster off and I got two health drinks, so we should be good to proceed. Uh, I should be able to go down here without the roller coaster running me over, so that's cool. Still can't shake the feeling that the game messed with me on purpose there. But I'm, I can't wait to find out. <laughs> All right, let's move on. It turned back on. No. Oh my God, Jesus Christ. I was gonna say, I was like, is the game going to do it to me again? I hired you to find the girl. And you performed serviceably. What is it now? You lied to me about Heather, lady. I don't like being used. Lie? What lie? That Heather was kidnapped. But it's true. She was originally one of us. That man, Harry Mason, stole her away and kept her hidden from us. Yeah, but she says she was happy. She was brainwashed by him. Deceived, because her true self had not yet awoken. She carries God within her. But when a lesser mother of God truly awakens... Yeah? What's going to happen? 
She will usher in the eternal paradise. What kind of place is that? A place with no pain, no hunger, no sickness, no old age. There will be no greed or war, and all will live by God's grace alone. No this, no that, no nothing. A paradise for castrated <laughs> sheep. Sounds pretty boring. I pity you. You still don't understand. Take your shot, bro. You're going to kill me. Is it really so easy for you? I've done it before. Then I truly do pity you. Gunshot. Pachow. Nothing. No gunshot transition. Interesting. No fade to black on a gunshot. Her Claudia's facial expressions are really well animated when she was talking to Douglas just then. Where are we at though? Thank God my flashlight survived the fall. Where are we? Where are we at? Back at the popcorn wagon, part two. Um, ooh. All right, where is this? Where is this gonna go? There's nothing written on it. It's probably supposed to have the ride's wait time on it or something. You reckon? All right. Can you, I wanna see what that says. <laughs> Oh, it's a haunted mansion. No. <laughs> God damn it, dude. You're going to put a haunted mansion in the game in the other world version, so it's going to be probably legitimate. Oh my God. Okay. Bawley haunted mansion. Do I have to... Oh uh, no, is it going to... Is it make me going to go on the ride or... Okay. It wants me to save my game first. So, let's do that while we're here. Okay. All right. Haunted Mansion time. Welcome to the Borley Haunted Mansion. We're so glad you came. Please come inside and look around. When you feel you're ready, then go through the door. Investigate everything. All right, in we go then. That was so cool, blink and you miss it moment. 
Wow. <laughs> the timing of that thunder with the shadow in the curtain. That was incredible. Kind of, kind of hate everything about this room though. There's nothing that I can really interact with. Oh. But if it's fake, why does it smell like real blood? Yeah. That's because I got a feeling, honey, that it, uh, it real. I got help on the wall. Heather is just the coolest, like, most calm 17-year-old through all of this mess, dude. I would be losing my mind. Like, I'd be gone. <laughs> no. 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 Can we leave without having to say hello to old mate in the rocking chair? That's Cheap. That's so cheap. So eager to meet you. His hometown is New Orleans, but he came here after first losing his way. Oh, maybe you might know. Where is the path to heaven? Geez, it's real. This is a real dead body hanging here. I don't think they meant for this to be part of their attractions. Who would have done this? So probably someone who ended up in Silent Hill previously, who lost their way. And we're being asked about the path to heaven. God, I hate that so much. All right, let's get out of here. This mansion is quite old. What a cheap scare tactic. Sometimes the floor suddenly gives way, and beneath the floor, there's nothing. I love that I just know that this is being, um, like, this is live in terms of how this is being voiceovered, like, 100%. <laughs> this is not a pre-recording. I feel like I have to, like, walk, not run. How do I avoid the spikes? Ooh. Ooh. God damn it. This place is just falling apart. The mechanism is broken, you see. It wasn't supposed to stop there, I assure you. Exit. See you next time. I can't, I can't interact with any of this on the wall. Well, oh, come on, man. I didn't know that I had to run. I didn't know that I had to run. Come on, dude. Honestly. All right, let's get out of here. Off we were. Oh my god. I hate this. Oh, dude. Oh my god. It's. Dude. Oh, dude. There was a door there. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. I don't know if that door was something that I was going to be locked and then it would have been 
Something that would have stopped. Oh my god, am I gonna die? <gasps> oh, it's still going, it's still going, it's still going, it's still going. Dude, it's really, it's really quick. Like, it's really hard. Oh, fuck. Oh my god, dude. This is the hardest part of the game. Oh my god, no. Like, honestly, that was terrifying because of how hard it was. Like, straight up. Oh no, don't get stuck. I don't even know where I'm supposed to go. Because I don't have anything. And it's just endless monsters. What am I looking at? I'm looking at something. Oh my god. I don't have a map, so I guess I'm just screwed. This column here, wouldn't that work? What am I... Ah! How do I get it there? Ah! <laughs> it's fucking hell. How do I get into the stall? I feel like I should just fight them because otherwise I'm never going to get a moment's peace. All right. Go for the jerky instead and leave me alone. I put the jerky down. Leave me alone. This dog leave me alone. Why can't... Let me go back th here. Oh, there was a gate right here that I missed. I was just running around for ages being so confused because like, well, maybe there's something that I have to do in the chaos of everything. It's a flyer for some kind of musical for kids. <sighs> He's stressed, everybody. He's stressed. Let's have a look. It's about Dawn the Duck, one of the past mascots. But that's a lot of information that I don't really need right now. Scouting the outside before I go into the inside. Surprised there's been no jerky for me to pick up on those things. What is this? I gotta... 
What does it say? I got a chain? Hmm. I get the feeling I have to put this chain on the merry-go-round and then onto the gate and then turn the merry-go-round on so it'll like pull the gate open because it said that it doesn't seem that it's locked but it's rusted. But how do I get, I couldn't figure out how to get into that little capsule that had the um, the thing opened. I guess maybe we've got, I've got to go look at this thing and look at the lone red slipper on the stage. And then hopefully that'll give me my answer. Can't wait. Let me just scout the rest of this place first. All right. I got a red shoe. I was expecting like the lights on the stage to go on for a second. What am I gonna do with a red shoe, man? One shoe, blood red, it was above the stage. I can combine it with something. Oh, it's open now. Interesting. And there's no enemies around. Um, okay, well... What I wanted to do here was... That combination doesn't make sense. I wonder what I can combine the shoe with. Um, Alright, so it says this thing here... Wouldn't that work? I always wondered why she was saying, "What wouldn't that work? It made it feel like I had something to do about it. I touched the chain. This half is fine. Better do something with the other half, though. Now, okay, so it's all attached now. Lovely. And now we go. Nice. All right, well now we can go. And I've got a lovely red shoe to prove it. All right, let's get out of here. Responsible. I know it's not your fault. You, you're a 
Remind me of my son. You said nobody was going to cry for you. Dead people don't cry. Stupid kid got himself shot robbing his bank. But why? Maybe because his pop was a penniless good for nothing. Who knows? Anyway, now I guess I'll never find out. <sighs> Sorry. I shouldn't have said you reminded me of a guy like that. <laughs> well, maybe if you had compared me to your daughter. <laughs> Listen, I'll take care of the rest. You stay here and I'll be back when it's over. You'll be okay by yourself. Hey, no problem. <laughs> The confidence in this lady. Besides, my dad's not around anymore. So only I can do this. What are you doing? Maybe killing you here is the only way to end this nightmare. Yeah, you might be right. Jesus, man. All right, Douglas. Jesus. Is he still just hanging here? in the background just slowly moving I'll handle things you just rest and don't shoot me please That was like a that was like a full proper cutscene that I could have just totally skipped out on. It makes me feel like it's like one of those things where um, your actions affect the ending, depending on what you do in the game. Because <laughs> I read up on some of those things that happened in um, Silent Hill 2. So maybe maybe going back to speak to him again um, does something. Let me have a look around just to make sure, see if there's anything hanging around. I don't think so though. I think we can just go ahead. This this feels like, this feels super climactic. Where's the save point? <laughs> um, this feels like I'm coming to a moment and I'm not at all prepared for it whatsoever. But I guess we, uh, I guess we continue. Looks like we've got options. We've got two two doors that we can go into. Okay. What is this place? like a literal person in the ground what is oh god that camera angle it's a snow white doll it's a cinderella doll what is this there are photos on the ground what's this 
Okay, so that's the shadow of Cinderella and Snow White. Cinderella on the left and Snow White on the right, but something's wrong. Well, old mate, you need your shoe because there's a thing for the shoe, right? You need something. What do you need that I don't have? <laughs> the talisman? No. Uh, maybe something I haven't gotten yet, which makes me feel like it's from the um, that other door that I haven't gone through yet. These bodies in the ground are highly concerning. <laughs> um, maybe I have to put the things in there to make the um, to make something come on the railway car tracks or something. Um, I guess we go in here. Client, Claudia Wolf, request searching for then infant, Alessa Gillespie, kidnapped by a man named Harry Mason. No word from police, kidnap location unknown. Old Silent Hill newspaper article, Alessa Gillespie, seven, dead in fire. Links to current case to be investigated, priority low. Using alias Heather, neighbors do not know real name. What is she hiding? I thought that would be uh, Douglas's notebook from um, Claudia being the client. Is that a save point? There's something on the save point. Save point first. The symbol usually looks unnatural and weird, but here it sort of seems to fit. It still makes me feel creepy though, like someone peeking into my brain. Yeah, we, we're definitely going to save it right here. <laughs> I'm going to create another new, <laughs> new save data. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's only been five hours of game time. Has it? I don't know. I don't know how time works. This feels too, like, it feels like climactic, but it doesn't seem like it's anywhere near the end. But then at the same time, it does. It's a very short game, if, uh, if it is. I got a doll head. I guess Snow White's gonna have the doll. Yeah, I don't think it. I don't think it's over. Like, I, I didn't feel like coming to Silent Hill would be the end. I just feel like it would be just the, the, the fucked up middle part. <laughs> Only one way to find out is to keep pushing on. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess I'll give you the doll head. It'd be cute enough on a normal doll, but just a head, downright creepy. There you go. Now what? Hmm. Oh. Oh, hang on a minute. Well, it, it didn't... Oh, God, what is... Oh. Hang on a minute. It didn't do anything or make, like, a noise or anything. Did each... Okay. Hmm, I'm confused. Was this optional? Because, like, nothing happened when I triggered it. Like, maybe I could have missed these, and then this door, I could still go through it. I wonder if this door gets unlocked if I put those in there. I just thought there would have maybe been, like, an actual action to happen. This is the dragon that guards the treasure chest. It's just a prop. Not scary at all. Okay. I mean, and now we're right back into the mess again.
Dahlia's the one who said it. Said that girl was a demon. That she took my daughter for a sacrifice. But it's not totally believable. I mean, appearances can be deceiving. When I saw the, that photo in the hospital basement, I thought, that girl looks like Cheryl. Is that why I feel this way? This is the, These are the save points. These are the save points from the original Silent Hill. When Harry was like, I'm going to write down my thoughts so one might find them useful someday. This is the exact same save point. Something's not normal anyway. Nothing good will come of this, but I just can't think of her as a demon. Is it my imagination? Or do I actually feel sorry for her? Why do I feel like she's looking for someone to help? Cheryl's what's important to me. Everything else can wait till I've gotten her back. There's a date and a signature at the end. It's dated some 17 years earlier and signed by Harry. Dad? Dude. That's wild. That's insane, dude. No! Oh my god. Just let me go through, please. Oops. Oops. That's really interesting that Harry's, one of Harry's save points, like his note is, um, is right there for me to look over. That's insane, dude. That is in insane. Yeah, honestly, it kind of makes me think uh, well, I guess there's no reason for us to have seen them before, because this is sort of the first area that we've been in that Harry's also been in, because we haven't really been anywhere else in Silent Hill yet. Dude, that is insane. I just am upset about all the stun gun batteries I'm finding and the fact that I do not have a stun gun. <laughs> Alright, this is the merry-go-round. This is um, the one that we killed um, Sybil on, right? When we could have saved her, apparently, is another thing that I missed. <laughs> God, man, so much stuff happens in this particular area of Silent Hill. There's a memo pinned to the horse's side with a huge nail. When 13 turns count for, you will die from their curse. If you wish to escape, there is but one way out. To kill before you are killed, you will be saved by the 12th death. This horse is alive. Well, alive may not be the word for it. It's no ordinary carousel horse. It's not made of wood or plastic. I don't know, but it's just kind of strange, that's all. Do I have to kill him? Is that what it's asking me to do? Is it because it was stabbed in the head? to kill 12 of them um let me try and use this i was just like maybe i'll just use the knife but i think i have to actually do damage yeah okay that's two what the hell dude why am i killing horses for all right that's three Five. 
six. I just realized that I can actually hold it down for a stronger attack and it's taken me the whole game to realize. It's taken me the whole game to realize this. <laughs> Man, I could have I could have I could have done this so much better. Alright, let's keep going. I lost count, but I'm assuming I just have to do all of them. This is the last one. What? Oh my god, what is happening here? Dude, that was just... I don't have any... I don't have any words for this. This is fucking crazy. No! Oh. This is 
fucking crazy, dude. What the fuck? Oh my god. Oh, there's just so much happening that I'm just like not even processing it because what the fuck, dude? Holy shit. All right, so we're fighting like some fucked up version of Cheryl. This is like the mirror version of us almost. What the fuck, dude? What? I blocked that. Come on, dude. Come on, I'm better than this. God, you're so strong! Stop! I swear I killed her much faster last time. <laughs> there we go. How much damage did I take from that, dude? What the fuck, man? Where is she? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, stop. Why? Dude, oh, hang on, dude. Let me put this thing on. No. How does that not interrupt her shooting? Come on, I'm better than this. What? How did she... Dude, this is hard. Oh my god. Oh. What? Dude, what the fuck? Thank <laughs> you. 
Right, well... I don't have to meet... I don't have to match her... handgun... with a, um... with a handgun then, which is great. This, on the other hand... I don't know about this. We'll just shotgun her to death. <laughs> I fig We figured it out. <laughs> She's running away from me! Why is she running away from me? Oh my god, why is she running away from me, dude? Why are you running away from me, lady? Just because I got a shotgun now. Just because I'm going at you with the big guns. Where are you? Come back here. Oh my god, what is she doing? Oh god, she's right there. Dude, this is the worst boss fight. I'm sick of it. I think I don't I think I don't have that much ammo left for the shotgun. I think I'm in trouble. No! Oh dude, was that everything that I had? I think that was everything that I had. Damn it, I wasted those two bullets. I'm so pissed. And now she's got me on the run. Come on, mate. Swing at me. Dude. That attack is so goddamn strong, it's unbelievable. It's making me use all of my, like, saved up supplies, dude. This is, like, everything that I have left. On this one asshole. Come on, dude. Why aren't you going down? Please! Oh my god, dude. Wow! Oh my god, thank god. That was really strong. You can't tell me I'm gonna fight another one after that, right? Oh, there's another one after this. Are you kidding me? She's got a submachine gun, dude! She... she blocks it all! She... She blocks all of my shots, dude! I just have to do this. I just have to, like, bait her... ...into, like, doing a hit attack. And then I can shoot her. This is all I have. Just this very slow... Alright, I figured out how to not get shot with the submachine gun. Thank fuck. No, 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 no! Oh my god, we're both reloading. Stop! Stop! Oh my god. Please no more. Please no more. Give me some ammo while you're at it. Oh my god. <laughs> give me give me ammo for that. Oh my god. Dude, that was the hardest thing I've ever had to do in Silent Hill. That was insane. It would be better for myself to die. After all, it's nothing to be afraid of. That child. That demon. When I think of the endless pain it will bring when it is birthed, I decided that instead of the suffering and cruelty... I endured in that sick room. That I would like to bestow a more gentle and peaceful death on myself. Why do I resist? I never thought of myself as such a fool. A lesser. I guess it's kind of strange for me to call you that, since you are me. But you know what? 
You and I don't think alike after all. And it's not that I don't remember that sick room either. Dude, what the hell? It almost makes me feel like this was like one of those like, I don't know. It doesn't feel like I could have done like a non-violent path in that fight. Like that was pretty insane. Ugh. But dude, now I have nothing. <laughs> dude, I have five handgun bullets left. No weapons except melee. Oh my god. She cleaned me out of everything that I had. I'm stressed. I don't operate well with barely anything left. Where are we? Stained by the evils of this world, we hold our sorrows within us. Only you can heal us these wounds. Each morning, afternoon, evening, and night, we call out your name and pray for the day of the miraculous descent. Ah, oh, dude. I give to you unreservedly my body and my internal soul. Whatever darkness may befall me, I will endure with you beside me. As proof of your miraculous power, guide our obedient and willing souls to the road of paradise, O Lord. We will not give in to the power of temptation as long as we have you in our hearts. O Lord, save us with your compassion. O Lord, shower us with your blessings. O Lord, favor us with your abundance. Hmm, it's interesting. There's a door there. But we can't go there, we have to go up here. There's something written on the door. This door is the gate which leads to the road to paradise. Embrace the bosom of the Holy Mother. Admit your sins and be forgiven. Eternal tranquility can be yours. Oh, we're in the church. How did you get here? It was Vincent, wasn't it? He led you here. When will he cease his meddling? But it's just as well. Bearing you here also serves my purposes. Check me. Not yet. The time is not yet at hand. The time when all will be forgiven their sins. When the paradise we have long dreamed for will arrive. After the judgment and atonement and eternity of bliss. Oh, Alessa, the world you wanted is nearly here. That's not what I want. Not you. Alessa, your true self. But I am Alessa. My little Claudia, my dear sweet sister. Alessa, is it you? I don't need another world. It's fine the way it is. But you said it yourself. The world must first be cleansed with fire. But that's not what I want now. Alessa, don't you want happiness? Have you become blind to all the hopeless suffering in the world? We need, we all need God's salvation. Listen, suffering is a fact of life. Either you learn how to deal with that, or you go under. You can stay in your own little dream world, but you can't keep hurting other people. Besides, I'll never forgive you for hurting my father. I wish only for the salvation of mankind. But for that to happen, the world must first 
must be remade. And for that, we need God. You self-righteous witch! No one asked you to help! Ooh. I thought that's what those noises were about. Damn, this is insane. You got a little tiny save point this time in my little book. Little tiny save point. And I'm going to save it in a brand new save again. <laughs> we went from never saving uh, to a separate save to always saving because so much stuff has just happened in this episode. It's insane. And also I'm worried about my lack of ammo and I'm like, maybe I'm gonna have to do this again if I've stuffed up. So new save point. <laughs> But with that guys, this is a huge episode for my comeback to playing this game because I've just gotten straight back into the mess and I've had such a great time playing this again and getting completely stressed out. But I'm going to stop this episode here guys. Thank you so much for watching this one. I hope to have more soon. I wish I could do more and hopefully I can do more in the future. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time.